Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Trailer Ranger NJ and we are doing this series to become an Agent Blazer Champion and we have covered many many of the modules of this trail mix already and if you want to find any of the module which we have previously covered you can just search for that module in our channel you'll be able to find it or otherwise you can just search for the playlist that is the Agent Blazer Champion and all the modules will be present there so in this video we'll be covering this module that is Agent Force for Service and in our previous video we have covered introduction to the Agent Builder now let's get started on this uh, so for this we are having first unit as get started with agent force for service so as you know that agent force is support for many of the other industries uh, that is healthcare finance uh, service sales as well so if we talk about that is agent for uh, for service it is uh, in the direction of customer service automation so it's a trusted conversational AI agent which supports customer service teams. Uh, so unlike the traditional chatbots which rely on the rigid or declarative dialogues, these autonomous agents use generative AI to operate 24-7 across the self-service portals and the messaging channels. So what are some of the key benefits we are having uh, for the agent force for service? Uh, that it can respond 24-7 it will reply uh, naturally using the generative AI. It doesn't feel like that some boat is talking to you. It will feel like you are talking with some human. It adds clarity. Uh, that is if uh, it responds with some answer and if you want clarification more to it or detailed explanation on that, you can just uh, ask for more clarity on that. Hand off to the human. So uh, it seamlessly transfer to or escalate conversation to the live agents whenever it is required for more complex issues. It gets deployed very quickly and it grounded in the trusted data. So that's it. Now what makes the agent force for service unique? Uh, so there is certain difference between the agent force for service or the Einstein votes which we were using earlier. So if we talk about in terms of setup, so agent force for service get sets up very quickly using the pre-built topics and actions. But for the Einstein boards, it uh, needed the manually training natural language models to understand the customer language. Maintenance uh, for the agent force for service update a handful of out of the box topics, actions and instructions and even quickly create custom ones as service require, request increases. But for the Einstein boards, it requires high maintenance to keep the dialogues and interns up to date and to train the new dialogues. Similarly, for context and exceptional uh, exception handling, Agent Force for Service is having a better understanding of the human language and response to follow up questions and unplanned exceptions. But Einstein boards uh, can't understand the human language and responds only to the most recent questions. So we are having a few ty uh, types of agent force agents such as service agent, service planner, SDR or sales coach. Uh, you can quickly set up uh, your agent force for service setup by just going uh, uh, to the setup and then searching for the new agent. Then you can uh, enable the agent force for service setup and create a new one. Let's come to the quiz. Our first question is true or false. Agent force for service relies solely on de declarative dialogues to operate autonomously on customer channels. So no. Second uh, question is which of these best describes how autonomous agents differ from traditional boards. First option is they use natural language models from trusted sources like cases. Second is they require dialogue, intent and language training. Third option is they make decisions and use generative AI to create responses that understand context. And fourth option is they only respond to the most recent customer question. So C option should be the correct one. Let's check. And it's correct. Let's move on to the next unit. That is learn the building blocks of for sorry of agent force for service. Uh, so there are certain things such as topics. So what does topics mean? Topic categorizes the job which needs to be done by our agent. 
and define our agent's role by guiding it to apply the right instructions and actions during a conversation. So you can see here the UI will look like where you can uh, describe your topic details. You can put the classification description uh, which determines if this is the correct topic to use based on intent whenever we are enabling our agent. And then this is the scope. It defines exactly what an agent can do when this topic is being used. Uh, then we are having actions. So action define the specific task an agent can perform based on the selected topic. So suppose this account management topic is being selected. So this topic's action would be configured here. It could be having one action. So it determines if this action is the correct one which needs to be performed based on the selected topic. And they can determine if user input is needed to trigger the action and gather additional information during the conversation. So agent uh, action can be a uh, type of apex or flow or the prompt template. If we are calling an apex class, we can use this uh, type. If we are calling a flow, then we can use this type. Otherwise, we can use the prompt template. Uh, then we can uh, define the instructions which will give clear detailed context to the guide agents based on the nature of an interaction they will be having uh, so now let's come to the quiz our first question is which of these statement is true about agent force for service first option is actions give clear direction and context on how an agent should respond second option is topics are task or the work the agent does based off the defined instructions Third is topics use the classification description to determine which topic to assign. And the last option is agent force builder does not allow you to create custom topics or action. So C option should be the correct one. Now second question is true or false. Existing flows or prompt template can't be used with new actions in agent force. A new action requires a new flow or prompt template. So false, we can reuse the existing flows or prompt templates. Let's check. And it's correct. Let's move on to the next unit. That is explore use cases for agent force for service. So we'll cover this very briefly. So there are some standard topics and action uh, such as account management, case management, order inquiries, delivery issues, reservation management, escalation or general FAQs. So as their name suggests, you can determine that what kind of action they might be taking. So for example, if we talk about the account management topic, if customer will be asking that what's uh, the customer account number, what uh, their account is, why their account is logged, or if they need any update on their account info. So they can use this action or this topic will be called and it's, the, it's standard action as well. Uh, we can use its flow or prompt template to get the customer details or that or to reset the password. Similarly, other topic will also work. Now we talk about custom topics in action. We can create custom topics in action based on our requirement. It can belong to any of the industries such as healthcare management, retail management, non-profit sector, travel arrangements or insurance. So likewise, based on our requirement, we can configure its related actions as well. Now we'll come to the quiz. First question is what is the main advantage of creating custom topics and actions for agents? First option is they allow agents to perform tasks without needing a topic. Second is they enable agents to stay focused, complete tasks efficiently and deliver responses that match the company's brand and tone. Third option is they make standard topics and actions obsolete. Fourth option is they automate the process of answering customer queries without any agent involvement. Uh, so fourth option could be the correct one or second one. I'll go with the fourth as of now. Second question is agent force for service can support both custom and standard topics or actions simultaneously. Yes. So let's check. Okay. Yeah, I'll choose the second one now. Let's check and it's correct. So second option was the correct one. My mistake. Now let's move on to the last unit of this unit uh, module that is use knowledge in agent force for service. 
so we have used data data is the most important uh, thing for the agent force or any of the tools which we are using in salesforce so the power of unstructured data so agent force harnesses the power of large language models to process the unstructured data supported by the agent force data library and unstructured data often includes chat transcripts pdfs audio and video files legal documents large text files like books and others so it uh, includes that and then proceed using the data library you can see here using this we can include the data library and then using this data our agent force or agent will be processing the data and access the relevant information from data library and delivers a response which will feel natural and conversational to the customer now we'll come to the quiz our first question is what types of data sources do agent force data libraries support first is knowledge records and fields second is reports and dashboards and third option is uploaded attachment and files uh, last option is a and c so a and c should be the correct one second question is what's the primary benefit of integrating the agent force data library for handling unstructured data first option is it requires manual mapping of fields in knowledge articles for data retrieval second is it allows for the automatic indexing of unstructured and structured data ensuring fast and accurate responses third option is it can only process structured data such as spreadsheets and databases fourth option is it requires extensive training on how to answer specific questions before it can function properly so second option should be the correct one and let's check so that's how we are done with this module that is agent force for service and in our next video we'll be covering this very short module that is agent force for sales quick look and then we'll be complete with this meet agent force you could be confused that here some of the modules are not completed but we have already covered that as part of other videos uh, you can check those out I'll be pasting the link of those in the description box. You can find that in the playlist as well at the end of this video. Or you can find it on the top right corner as well in between of this video. So yeah, thank you. And if you like the video, please like it, subscribe the channel and uh, stay tuned.